Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to make a redirection from sublet to JSP page. So already in our previous video, we have discussed about how to make a form interaction between sublet and HTML form. Also, we have discussed about the difference between do get and do post method in a sublet. In case if you haven't watched that video, so the link is available in the description. So please watch that video so that you will be getting a clear picture. And I am using the same project and the same example which I used in my uh, previous video so that you, we will get a clear picture. Now, let me give a small uh, glance on this code. So, I have a login page.html. I have a text box to accept username and password. And the moment I click my submit button, it is going to invoke a login sublet and method type is post. So finally, the moment I click my submit button, it will come to my login sublet and since method type is post, it will invoke two posts. And here I have a code to read value from username text box as well as password text box. And I have a small condition, username is equal to admin and password is equal to 123 so then I am displaying welcome at me else I am displaying invalid username or password so this is what we have done in our previous video you can look at this code in the sublet itself I am displaying my result nothing but welcome at me or it may be a invalid username or password in a real life application so we will not do like this so we will not uh, display the uh, output in a sublet so the sublet will act as a controller and it will make a redirection it has to make a redirection to either success page uh, dot jsp page or failure.jsp page. So that is a real life scenario. Yes, right now it's a only one line. I can display it in the sublet itself. But in a real life scenario, the output page may come with a number of uh, data or maybe it may come with again GUI. Right? So those things I cannot, I will not dump inside a sublet. So what I will do, I will be making a redirection. So finally the request will come from login page.html and the sublet will process the request. If the request is valid, it has to redirect to success page, else it has to redirect to failure page. So that is a real life scenario. In real life, in a real time application, we'll do like that. So now let us do one thing. Let me remove these lines. So here I have to write a code for redirection. So I will be writing a redirection. You can look at the code. It's very simple. I will say that if the username is admin and password is 123, then I will say that response.send redirect. With the help of response object, you can look at my do post method. I have an argument response object with the help of response object I can invoke a method send redirect within double quote I can specify the target page so it will make a redirection to the target page let me say if the credential is correct I want to redirect to success.jsp else I will make a redirect to file.jsp so 
so finally friends you can look at the code the code is very simple so instead of displaying on the sublet i mean instead of displaying the result on the sublet itself we are making a redirection how we are redirecting with the help of response object i am invoking a method send redirect and within double quote i can specify the target page so the target page can be a dot jsp or it can be a html for example i am trying to redirect to a dot jsp page so if the credentials are right i am redirecting to success dot jsp else i am redirecting to fail dot jsp so finally you can look at the code the servlet is acting as a controller it is controlling the flow flow of the application it is taking a request from the login page dot html if the request is valid it is transferring the control to success page else it is transferring the control to failure page so that's why i can say servlet is a controller so which will control the flow of the application so finally now what do i have to do i have to create two page inside web content i am creating two jsp page one is success.jsp and another one is fail.jsp so in success.jsp for example i am displaying a same message with green color with bold text i will say welcome at me so now my success.jsp is ready so now i have to create my fail.jsp so let me create one more jsp inside same web content directory and i will name it as fail.jsp and here i will display a error message with red color i will say invalid username or password so finally my entire application is ready so now let us run this code and will verify whether this sublet is redirecting successfully or not let us run our starting page i think but login page dot html yeah it started my tomcat so first what i will do i will give the correct credential to check whether it is redirecting to success page or not i will say username is at me password is 123 and i will click login button you can see it is displaying welcome message also you can see the url it has redirected to success.jsp from controller the same way let me give a wrong credential let me say username is bala password is 4456 now it has to redirect to fail.jsp you can see it is re redirected to fail.jsp and it is displaying invalid username or password so hope friends we are clear about how to make a redirection from sublet to a jsp with the help of send redirect method in our next video so we'll discuss about how to make a dynamic view so right now you can see it's a jsp page even though always this success page will display only welcome at me so how to make it dynamic so welcome uh, at me or welcome the username so the username whatever i am entering in the text box 
so that has to display in the success page that will call the uh, dynamic uh, view so view is nothing but your jsp nothing but your uh, result page so that will discuss on the uh, next video so thanks friends for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload a new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends